Good morning friends. Welcome back to English Times. Today we will be learning a very new topic that is tenses. This tense is something which is really very important. We generally use this in a daily day to day routine life. But actually how to use them? What are the different types? Examples? We are going to learn in this class today. First of all we will be starting with what is a tense? Tense is actually a Latin word that is tempus. It has come from this Latin word tempus which means time. So tenses something which depicts time is tense. Now what are the different categories? We have three different categories. The very first one is past tense. Second one is present tense and the third one is future tense. Past tense is something that deals with the activities related to past. Present is activities related to present means something going on. And the last one is future tense. Activity is related to future means in times to come. Now we'll be learning about the very first that is the past tense. Let's begin with the past tense. Let me give an example to show what past tense is and how it is used. Let us take examples in two different forms one is singular form the other one is plural form the very first example we'll be using is i loved now this is i i means first person the plural form of this example will be will be v loved loved is something that is past means you have already loved somebody now we'll be continuing with the second form that is you loved now you and yours are second person here we'll be having you loved you remains you in the plural form also now the third type is he loved. Now here we have examples like he, she, they and it all in the third person form. The example for this in plural form will be they loved. Let us move on to the next category that is present tense. In this present tense, we will be again taking examples in two forms. That is, first is singular form. The other one is plural form. So, first person I sing a song. In the plural form, same will be written as we sing a song. Second person, it will be you sing a song. Here we'll be having you, remains you sing a song. Now the third person will be she sings a song. Here it will be they sing a song. Now the difference between the forms is here it is I and it will be having sing only sing as the first person category. Here we will be having V and sing as the plural form in the first person category. But after 
the first and second person becomes over we have the third person third person is she it could be he it could be it sings a song she sings a song he sings a song it sings a song then it will be he also becomes they she also becomes they sing a song because it is plural we won't be using s or es behind sing it will remain sing in v1 form let us move on to the next category and that category is future tense now in this future tense again we'll be taking two different forms singular form the next one is plural form now let's take the first example first example is i will travel alone the plural will be we will travel alone travel is a verb i is the first person and will is something that is going to happen in future second is you in second cat in second person form will travel alone here will be you will travel alone now the last that is the third person form here will be having he will travel alone the plural of this will be they will or shall depending upon the case we'll be discussing in future travel alone now this is the ending of the th three different types of tenses the very first is present tense second is past tense and the next one is future tense we've seen each of the case with examples let us move on to the tenses i mean the present past and future in detail there are at least four different categories of each of these tenses we'll be looking after this so let us begin with the present tense now this present tense has actually four different categories the very first category is simple present second is present continuous third is present perfect the last one is present perfect continuous this is present perfect continuous and simple present now what is actually the difference between all four of them simple present tells us something which is an eternal truth first second uses very first form of verb continuous tells me something that is going on now here we'll be learning about has started in past still going on present perfect is something going to complete soon and the last one is present perfect continuous that is something which is 
going on but is not complete yet similarly this past tense is going to have four different types the first one is simple past second is past continuous third one is past perfect and the last is past perfect continuous i think it's important that we have to see each of this category with example let us take an example the very first example will be taking of simple present and that example will be i sing a song this is v1 form a verb sing uses v1 form present continuous of this example will be i am singing a song the example for this is as i have sung a song now the last example is going to be this is present perfect here present perfect is like i will have been singing a song let us look at the verb forms of each of this category this is going to be the v1 form as it is very clear we have only one singular form that is sing here it is going to be is am are plus v1 plus ing now this is going to be v3 form plus has or have and this last is will and shall because it is going to be perfect have plus been next is past tense there are four four categories simple past past continuous past perfect the last is past perfect continuous let's take an example i wrote a letter the example for continuous form will be i was writing a letter example for the perfect form is i had written a letter and for the perfect continuous is i had been writing a letter let us take a look at the verb forms this is simple v2 form second form of the verb v2 form this is going to use was were plus ing v1 form plus ing this is going to use had plus v3 form of the verb and the last one is using had plus been plus ing now let's take a look at the third category of the tense that is future tense again there are four categories of future tense simple future 
future continuous future perfect and the last one is future perfect continuous it is very important to take a look at the verb forms because this verb form is something that is going to remain forever then only you will come to know which form to be used where now let's take a look at the examples because this is future it will be using will plus shall i mean or will or shall so here we'll take a look he will go by bus future continuous means he is going to do something starting from today continuing till times to come example he will be going by bus again perfect example will be he will have gone by bus the last is perfect continuous he will have been going by bus let's take a look at the verb forms this is going to use will or shall plus v1 form of the verb this is going to use will or shall plus b which is very important plus ing this is going to use will have or shall have plus v3 form of the verb and this is going to use will have been or shall have been plus v1 plus i n g that's all for the lesson today we have learned three tenses the very first tense is present tense the second one is past the third one is future present tense is simple it is exactly the same as the past tense and future is also same as the past tense difference only difference is simple present simple past and simple future similarly present continuous past continuous future continuous similarly present perfect past perfect future perfect and the last present perfect continuous past perfect continuous and future perfect continuous and the most important thing is the verb forms it is very important to have a look upon which verb form to be used with which type of tense somewhere we are using just v to form somewhere we have used had somewhere we have used was verb plus the verb form plus ing somewhere we'll be using will have been or shall have been plus ing so this is something which is very important take a look upon all these in case you have any doubt or any query kindly write down in the comment section below and please subscribe to our channel english times thanks and have a nice day